my butt. Do you know what lawyers call Fridays? Surprise me. Horrible day. Stands for push off early. Tomorrow's Saturday. See you, Bert. Bye. Bye. Weekend starts here. Oh, no. Why'd you open your big mouth? Where are you off to? We've finished. A bit early, isn't it? I want to beat the rush hour out of London. Out of London? I'm going to see my mother. I did tell you a week ago. Oh, right. I forgot. Well, we've written our report, sharpened our pencils, ready for Monday. What are you doing? I'm going to a test. Give me support. Weekend with Mum can drag a bit. What do you want? I want a weekend in the country. What I've got is two days in records. <sighs> and you need a hand. Oh, never mind. You go off and milk your cows or whatever. I could come back on Sunday morning if that's any good. I know you won if you did. See you in records at ten. Have a wild time. With my mother. So tell us about your mum. Like what? Well, I don't want to go putting my foot in it. Just act yourself. She can spot a phony a mile off. Didn't you tell me she had a problem with the drink? Yeah, she's off it now. Oh, thank God. And your father remarried, but she didn't. Right. Anything else? Well, one has no idea what one says to the butler or which way one passes the port. <laughs> butler port? Where do you think you're going? You mean one doesn't drink champagne with one's breakfast? Not unless one's bought one's own. <laughs> I suppose that's the other jet set is arriving. Well, we are expecting Baron Maxime from Monaco and Count Otto from Vienna. Don't go to Hampshire with barons and oil. Dishing with the rest of the girls. That's why the lady Nice little shack. As we say, it's not much, but it's home. Evening, Charlie. Hey, Tess. Didn't know you was coming down. Garden looks great. Yeah, soft. One day you're going to inherit all this lot, aren't you? God, I hope not. Have you any idea how much this place no. costs to keep up? Company? Looks like Count Otto beat us to it. I understood it was just going to be you, me, and Pa. We have supermarkets. Mary, you're exaggerating as you look. Looks like the two middle marshes here. Colonel Hackforth Gray and Mr. and Mrs. Stanley. And nice to see you. This is Fred. This is best. She's worked here all my life. <laughs> What's the party in Ada? Oh, your mother invited them for drinks. She didn't want you to be bored. Just to repair the steeple. Ah, oh, there she is, my lovely daughter Tessa. Hello, Mummy. Tessa. Mm. Mm. Darling, how marvellous to see you. This is Fred. Fred. Tessa has told me so much about you. Tess, this is, oh, Colonel Hackforth Gray, you know, of course. Yes. <laughs> and Mr. and Mrs. Steadley. Hello, Tessa. Hello again, Tessa. Nice to see you. And this is Tessa's friend, Fred. How oh, nice to meet you. Short for Frederica, I suppose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Pleasure to see you again, Tessa. Frank, be a dear and get me another, would you? Mary. And look after the girls. They must have had a rotten drive down. Fridays can be quite dreadful. I'll have a bloody Mary. Do you have any white wine? Oh, it's in the fridge. I'll get it. Ah. You uh, live in London? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we think you should organise it, Mary. You're so clever when it comes to ordering people above. That's for Me. my mother, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I second that, absolutely. <laughs> we think you should take over, Mary. Thank 
you, darling. I say you have grown, haven't you? Not recently, no. I remember when you used to go fishing in the mill pond. Ah, uh, yes, well, I have grown a bit oh, since I was nine. The farmer's yelling at you to keep to the footpath. Please, Mary. Never drown good vodka, my father always said. Now, what are we going to do about our dear vicar? And apart from putting a bomb under his cassock. Oh, Mary, really? I'm so sorry, Miss Tessa. How long has she been back on the booze? It started about a month ago. Why didn't you ring me? Well, I meant to, but... Well, sometimes she seemed all right. She's not all right now. I'm sorry. Last. One finds it awfully difficult to say anything to the poor man without him taking offence. I mean, only the other day I said, Vicar, why do you pick such dreary hymns? I mean, I know the devil's meant to have all the best tunes, but there must be something better than from Greenland's icy mountains to India's coral strand. I said to him, I thought this was a water and What is a coral strand? Like 70 proof vodka. <laughs> so we can put forward your name to the committee. You can what? The fundraising committee. Isn't it rather warm in here? Damn this carpet! Always catching my heels. Come and sit down, Mary. Oh, mother. Oh dear. Whenever my daughter calls me mother, I know I've done something. Can you clear up this mess, please, Mrs. Best? I've been having trouble with the carpet too. There's nothing wrong with the damn carpet. Colonel, my mother's tired. Oh no. Good. No, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. fine. Didn't realize the time. We really oh, must go. Oh no. No, you can't go. We really must. We have to uh, go on. Well, I think we should all go out to a restaurant. A surprise treat for darling Tessa. Uh, another time. Well, uh, thanks for the drinks. Uh, I think we should all go to the restaurant. Mother. Now, Tessa. No, don't be a wet blanket. It'll be jolly. Won't it, Fred? Oh, sounds great. Fact is, I'm just about dead on my feet. How about tomorrow night? Oh, it's trouble with you young people. You have no stamina. Frank, you ring and book a table. Mother, please. I'm going upstairs to get my coat, and then I'm going to eat, if anyone would care to join me. If you're welcome. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not. All right. Sorry about this, my dear. So am I, Colonel. What started her off again? Well, just to say, I tried to stop it, but uh, well, as you know, your mother's not the easiest person in the world to control. No, she isn't. Yes, well, um, I'll see myself out. What's a couple of belts now and then? a nap. But I wanted to talk to you. Haven't seen you for weeks. We'll talk tomorrow. There's lots of time. You sleep? Mother needs is a regular bloke. The only candidate in these parts is Colonel Hackforth Gray, retired MCTD. Well, he's okay. 
No chance of that, I'm afraid. She says having dinner with him is like watching a cement mixer. I'll be off now, Miss Tessa. Fine, Mrs. Burst. Um, thank you for everything. Mrs. Robinson, all right, is she? Sleeping like a babe. Do you want me to have a coat? No, I've got my wife I'm really sorry about your mother, Miss Tessa. Don't worry, Mrs. Burst. I have a serious talk with her tomorrow. Night. Night. Who's that car? I don't know. Oh, oh. what you did. I'll blow your head off your side. Leave her! Back off. Is there anyone else in the house? Is there? My mother. Where is she? Upstairs. She's asleep. That's all? Yes. Go and look. I said we should take an empty place, Jack. I said we should take an empty place, Jack. Yeah, don't do it. Look, I'll give you whatever jewellery there is. The silver cupboard's through there. I have a few quid on me. Shut up! Are you on the run or what? How many phones in the house? Three. One upstairs and one in the drawing room. Show me. So far, there's just one real animal. I told you about that. Now you tell her to shut her mouth, or I'll shut it for her. All right. Now listen to me. We're going to be here for a couple of days. Now I want you to understand one important fact. We got nothing to lose. If we're caught, they throw away the key. So why don't we dispense with the aerobics? You've got a choice. Hard way, easy way. The easy way is for you to do absolutely nothing. That way no one gets hurt. In two days, we'll be gone. So it's entirely up to you. You two, over there. Come on, move it! We don't need all that. Why? What's to stop these two doing that, aren't they? They know. And if anyone tries to get help, we got the mother upstairs. Right? Right. You're by me. Am I? Cross that side. Don't do that! What? Make so much bloody noise! Find a phone upstairs and bring it down. Get in, Jumpy. You said a couple of days. That's right. How do we know you mean it? You don't. 
We'll be gone Sunday. Who on earth are you? I said, who are you? What the devil are you doing with the telephone? Well, don't you have any manners? I'm talking to you. Hey, Jack! She woke up! Look here. I don't know who you people are or what you're doing in my house. Why are you stealing the telephone? Boy, come up. Darling, are these men friends of yours? Explain things to her. Explain what? There are three men. They want somewhere to stay for a couple of days. Well, they can't. We're not running an hotel. We have no choice. You mean they're intruders? Yes. But what do they want? Somewhere to hide, apparently. Are they burglars? They don't seem to be. I don't understand. Nor do I. But, Ma, they've said nothing will happen to us as long as we don't make any trouble. They have guns. Right. The number here is Middle Marsh 236. Would you mind taking your feet off the furniture? Yes, I would. Are they all like this? Or is there a semblance of civilization among the others? No, he's the only pig. You. No, no, sunshine. Remember what your boss told you. Well, if I'm to be kidnapped, I prefer to be unconscious. Any more mouth out of you and you will be. Knock it off. Just watch me. Damn you. I'll have you for that. You. Enter these bottles down the sink. Now, come on, Jack, not all of it. You're a fool, Harry. Always were, always will be. Here, here. You're pushing your luck, you slug. I wonder if you might leave the vodka. Sorry. You're all right, Mrs. Post. What is it you men want? We don't want you asking silly questions, you stupid cow. I will not be spoken to like that in my own house. Mummy, do what they say. Bring that bird back in here. Come along, Mrs. B. You better lie down upstairs. Now, where do you think you're going? Oh, do get out of the way, you oaf. Let them go. Are you sure you know what you're doing? We'll always have one of them. Madam, what do they want? Mrs. B, we must just ignore them. You keep in the hall. I'll take first watch. You two sleep in here. Never forget, your mother's the first to get hurt if anyone feels like playing superwoman. What do you reckon? They're on the run. Remember that course we went on? Hostage situation. Right. What they tell us? Don't make them mad. You've been doing well on that score. Oh, Jock. It's grade one Wally. He's also a bit of a psycho. Boss is bright. Very. Kid's nervous. What do we do? Sit tight for a couple of days, like they said. Well, unless you've got a stun grenade up your jumper. We do exactly that.
be on watch. I'm sorry, Jack, I must have dozed off. Leave them. People think there's something wrong if they're left closed. All right, but keep the windows locked. Got an ulcer. Don't look old enough. I'm old enough. A lot of things have a sure. Yeah, bloody right. You'd be surprised. Surprise me. Yeah. How did you get it? The ulcer. What's this? Twenty questions. Just trying to be sociable. He got it in prison. Surprise, surprise. I always keep myself in shape, though. I do a hundred press-ups every day. Macho man. Cut it out. Any law against listening to the radio? And that is the end of the news. Where are the other two? He's still asleep. I've checked him. How long the door? I can just see my mother sliding down the drain pipe. Go take a butcher's. I'll go with her. Real matter of the people, aren't you? Who are you talking to me? Go take a butcher's, me old China. I bet you keep pigeons and support West Ham. You try to make some kind of point. I was wondering why, when you speak to us, you say things like, let's dispense with the heroics. And when you speak to them, it's all ghoul blimey. Well, you just keep wondering and avoid the urge to do anything. And we'll get along. Jack! Somebody's coming! the gardener. Get rid of him. Well, he works for my mother, not me. Get back upstairs, you. Oh, bugger off. It's the gardener. I know. Charlie always tells me what he intends to do in the garden during the day. It's a long-standing ritual and he'll be most suspicious if we don't go through it. Don't let him in. Are you mad? Just let him get on with whatever he has to do. I intend to. And remember, I've got your daughter, in case you feel tempted to tell him anything else. What would you do if I did? We'd top her, that's what we'd do. Top? Oh, shoot her, you mean? That's exactly what I do mean. But surely Charlie would hear the shot and the jig, as they say, would be up. Ma, I would prefer not to get shot. Good morning, Charlie. Mum. The rose bed's looking a bit parched. Yeah, I was going to water it. And would you mind spending an hour or two in the kitchen garden? Uh, well, the runner beans need tying up. Mm. But I won't have a go at pruning the wisteria. It's shooting out in all directions this year. Show me. Where do you mean? Anyone else expected today? Uh, I don't think so. Hey, Jack! <laughs> Shut up. You're right, Mrs. Best. Must have my pills. Hot. Well, where are they? Home. In the bathroom. Where she live? Not far. Oh. Watch him. Where are you off to? Get her pills. Is that your car outside? Yes. You will be coming back, I suppose. Put her in bed, keep an eye on her. Thanks. For what? Helping Mrs. Best. A lot of people wouldn't have bothered. The Scott were one. Just drive. Why did you pick our house? Got a plane to catch? You've done all right so far. Don't blow it by getting clever.
Shame about your Scots friend. What do you mean? He's as thick as two short planks. He comes from a broken home. I can see him breaking it. I can't see him being a bundle of fun in Brazil or wherever you're off to. What's your name? Tessa. This is it. Anyone in there? No, she's a widow. You go. I'll wait. You strike me as being smart. Thanks. Let's see just how smart you are. You've got two minutes to get the stuff and come back here. No phone calls, nothing. Well, you know what happens. Can I help you? What do you want here? Who are you? Who went in there? Better ask the young lady. Who? What are you doing in that house? Mrs. Bess, our housekeeper. She needs her pills. I'm Tessa Robinson. I don't believe we've met. I'm Mrs. Wallace next door. I only moved in last spring. Why didn't she come for them herself? She's busy helping my mother. Well, how do I know that you aren't a burglar? See the telly? Family silver? Look, where is she? <laughs> Mrs. Robinson's house on the Churton Road. Ring her. She'll tell you. Oh, I will. Good. You said I was smart. I don't suppose there's any point in asking what you've done. I don't suppose there is. Whatever it is, there's been a cock up. Do you have the job? Interior decorating. Why? You sometimes talk like the law. What went wrong, Jack? The plane got delayed. What's your name? Me. Well, I don't see anyone else here. Jim. Jim what? Jim. Here, are you trying to be funny? Mine's Fred. What do you want a man's name for? I don't. It's really Frederica. You know what people are like. They shorten everything. You James? I suppose I am. Never been called that, though. Jimmy when I was a kid. So the Nick gave you an ulcer? What if it did? Oh. If you go back in, it'll finish you off. I'm not going back. Well, it depends what you've done. Depends on what? Are you kidding? If we ain't done nothing, what are we doing here, eh? Well, what did you do? I mean, it can't be that bad. But you look a nice sort of bloke. Not the sort of person who goes around shooting guns. I know how to use this, you know. I bet you do. Yeah, well, don't you forget it. You see, I can tell people who are handy with a gun, who know how to use it. And you haven't so far. Have you, Jim? Oh, he's done a hell of a job. I mean, I'm talking millions. Go on. What bank? What's going on? What are you doing with her? Nothing, Harry. We're just having a chat. No, you keep away from him. You hear me? What's wrong, Tarzan? You jealous? Leave it out! Are you pointing that at me? I don't want you bashing her. You point a gun at me, would you? Oh, dear. When it comes to something when I have to throw my lot in with courage. What's up with him? I had to give him a smack. He pointed his gun at me. Him. 
We only brought him along because we needed a donkey to carry the stuff, and now he thinks he's Jesse Bleeding James. Shut up. Why don't you do it? Point your gun at him. He was going to hit the girl. Christ. I'll leave you two alone for ten minutes. Go and go out the phone. If it rings, don't answer it. Call me. That bastard Gardner, she must have said something to him. Why? Because he's right outside the window and he keeps looking in. He seems happy. I'm very happy with him. Get him away from the house. How? Tell him he's making a telly player. I think he's very tight, John. I, I'm actually, I've actually gone for Last Tycoon. <laughs> See the telly. Everything all right in there? Yeah, why shouldn't it be? I thought I saw a bloke going with Tessa. Ah, oh, he came to look at the uh, phone. It's on the blink. Now we go over to drag racing at Santa Pop. Yes, it's me. My boss. Tira decorating, remember? Hi, Maggie. What's the problem? No problem. How the records have been signed out? So you can tell Freda won't need her tomorrow. She can stay in mulch the asparagus. Oh, I'm so glad you don't need me tomorrow. No, not you. Fred. Fact is, I didn't feel too good driving down. Could be my damn appendix playing up again. Tess, have you been to the cider or what? See you Monday. Bye. Country has softened her brain. in it bad for ulcers. What's happened? This bloke's looking for his mate. Mrs. Best seems all right now. What are you thinking? I was thinking about your gardener. Charlie? Why? He's been giving the house strange looks all day. Who's that? It'll be Charlie. I always pay him on the Saturday. No funny business. Just say goodbye. And make it quick. You, Hazy. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, see you Monday. Haven't you better check it? It's all right, I trust you. Your telephone, okay. Telephone? Oh, yes, it's working now. No problem. 
What was all that about the phone? Well, he saw you coming back with Tessa. You were? When you went to get Mrs. Best pills. We've got to stop him. Hold it. What did you tell him? I told him the phone was on the blink and you'd come to fix it. Jack, we can't let him get away. Belt up! You've got an exterior bell you can hear in the garden. Um, no. He's almost on the road, Jack. There's no way he could have sussed you out. He's got to get the law. I hope you know that. Shut up! He's coming back! Telephone repairmen don't work on Saturdays. I said the first thing that came into my head. Now where's he going? What's round the back? Nothing. The garage is round the back. I'm not going to rot inside for any bleeding gardener. Jack, you haven't killed anyone yet. Stop him. You must stop him. Jim, pack it in now while you still have time. Get back! Sorry, Charlie. Hey, at you, Mum. No, I'm all right. Leave it out! Take him upstairs and tie him up. We could have buried him on the back and saved all this palaver. doing fine, but the vodka's all gone. You know how close you came to killing that gardener? Me? Smart idea. Telephone repairman coming on a weekend. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Please don't hurt him, please. Tessa. Hello? Tess? Oh, yes, boss. I'm sorry to bother you again. I'm looking for the the pending file. I put it in the blue cabinet. Blue one? Yes, the back. Let me check. I've got it. Thanks. Bye. Someone else is coming. Who is it? It'll be Colonel Hackforth Gray. He's a neighbour. What's he want? Last night he said he'd drop by. He'll insist on coming in. You better say that he doesn't for his sake. I won't be able to stop him. He's very persistent, especially if he thinks he's on an errand of mercy. nearly happened to your gardener. Great Scott, Mary, where is everybody? I'm sorry, Frank. I was lying down. Oh, down. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. Oh, how are we? Still feeling a bit down. Feel like a spot of dinner down at the Crown? Go. That's sweet of you, Frank, but I'm not really hungry. No. I feel a bit chilled, actually. Oh, where's your wrap? In my room. Now, you sit down and I'll get it. No, I don't need it. It's all right. Nonsense, woman. Stop fuzzing.
realize you were here. Oh, my dear, I... I really am. It's awfully sorry. I was just going to run a bath. Uh, your mother wanted her wrap. Oh, hang on. I'll get it. Here we are. Thank you, and I do apologize, Miss Orpey. Don't worry. Thank you. I'm not very good company tonight, Frank. Oh, I don't mind. No need to talk if you don't want to. I'd offer you a drink, but uh, my daughter thought it best if we got rid of it all. Damn good idea. Oh. <coughs> He'll never take the hint. She's better and quick. What's happened to the phone in here? It's, uh, being mended. Oh. Hello. Just a moment. Call for you. Get him out of the way. I'll do my best. Just get rid of him. Take a walk round the garden. No. He's not budging. Why not? Well, you felt a chill just now. No need to make things worse. Really, I'll right. shield you. Stop behaving like that. Very well, I'll be by myself. Oh, no, you won't. Someone should have taken you in hand years ago, Mary. Not too headstrong by half. What's this all alone, you two? I'm just trying to knock a little common sense into your mother. Yeah, it's me. We'll be ready. Frank, you must excuse me, but with Tessa coming down for the weekend, we've been so busy catching up on the news. Well, uh, it's taken a lot out of me. As you can see, Colonel, my mother's looking rather washed out. Oh, a few days' rest will work wonders, I dare say. Which she might get if you left. I beg your pardon? I wish you would stop coming round here and encouraging my mother to drink. Encourage her? Yes. If you want to know the truth, I blame you for her condition last night. You must know she has a problem with alcohol and you do damn all to help her. Mary, this is most unfair. A little blunt, perhaps, but I think Tessa has a point, Frank. Well, I must say. I will understand we just saved his life. What the hell was that? Help! 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 He's coming back. He's then back. He must get to a hospital. Nobody's going anywhere. Just they have, I wonder. Well, we know three. Oh, Fred and Tessa will be all right. I can't vouch for the mother, but. Get the car! They're on the move. Tie them up. You, stand still! This man must get to a hospital immediately. I said stay where you are! Mother, come back! I'm going to fetch help for Colonel Hackforth Gray. If they want to stop me, they'll have to shoot me. Stop! For God's sake, stop her! What the hell is she doing? Get him, Jake! 
him! Get him! My neighbor needs a doctor urgent. Don't worry, we'll raise you. Don't worry me. Brave or mad, I don't know which. Sorry. Look at it this way. I was expecting to be bored this weekend. It took a lot of courage, Mrs. Robinson, to walk out like that. Someone had to call their bluff. Poor Frank. He was in a frightful state. But we got rid of all the booze. I have to admit, I was quite sober. Well, one thing's for sure, Mrs. Robinson. You don't need it anymore. Oh, I need it, Fred. I shall always need it. But I can't keep on blaming the carpet, so I shall just have to learn to do without. Blame the carpet? <laughs> Family joke. Mrs. Robinson, how do you get such marvelous results with your hydrangea? Paniculata grandiflora. Mine are only half that size. Fellow gardener. Oh, how refreshingly different from some of this, Fred. Uh -huh.